What's really interesting about this video is the comment section. There are thousands of women who are confessing in the comment section how much they miss a former best friend. If you've been toying around with the idea of rekindling a past friendship, there are four things I want you to consider. The first is this. I did a big friendship breakup survey recently with more than 600 women. They gave me their responses and more than 50% of them are at least open to the possibility of rekindling a friendship with a woman who they broke up with. The takeaway here is that depending on the actual situation, you can't assume that your friend does not want to rekindle with you because if more than half of women are saying they're open to it, then there's a chance that she feels the same way. The second thing you need to think through is your objective. If you leave a toxic friendship but still find yourself missing her, it's normal for those two feelings to exist at the same time. Relief of release, but also a longing for what you had. So ask yourself, what would be your point in reaching out? Do you just want to say, your piece? Are you curious about how she's been doing? Is it an attempt to get closure? You're going to need that answer for the third thing. Communicate your objective. Your goal when you reach out, should you decide to actually do that, should be to leave as little ambiguity as possible. She shouldn't be on the receiving end of this text or phone call or email wondering exactly what it is you want. Depending on the circumstances, she might be suspicious. She might make assumptions. And so to have as much clarity as possible and reduce misunderstanding, you'd have to know what your point is in reconnecting before you're able to communicate it for her sake. And finally, prepare yourself. Depending on how much time has passed and the reason for your friendship dissolution, you might be reconnecting with a person who you no longer know, somebody who's totally different now. Are you ready for that? Whenever clients ask me specifically, should I rekindle this friendship or not? I ask them to consider all the possible outcomes. She might not respond. She might respond negatively. She might want to reunite as well. If you think you're mentally and emotionally prepared for all those outcomes, go for it. But if you feel fragile and any one of those outcomes might send you into a spiral, then maybe sit on it a little bit longer.